Hello. This is my 1990 Honda CRX. I always wanted to do a video about the reasons why I love this car. Like the top five reasons. If I won't do top five, I'll just start naming a bunch of things that I like about it or what I love about this car. Um, I've had it, I think, about more than four years now. Um, or at least I've driven a CRX for more than four years. Because um, I've had two. My first one, I crashed it. And then I used the parts to fix this one. But anyways, that's a long story. But the number one first thing that I would say I love about this car is... Um, I would say how it drives. Now, a lot of people say that this car is like a go-kart. And definitely, I would say that is true. It's like very light. Um, I remember the first time I drove this car, uh, it doesn't have power steering. And when I went to go turn it, like, or I remember I was just backing out of here and like, I was trying to turn this. It was so hard. And, uh, yeah, I never experienced a car without power steering. And, like, you could literally feel everything in the road. When you drive this car, you could f hear anything. And, like, I would say this is, like, the only car that feels this way. Because any other car I've driven, like, I've driven the EG Civics, um, the EK Civic. Not the hatches, but just the sedans. And they don't drive like this car. It's the only car I know that has a specific feel that this car has. Like a go-kart feel. And like, you're not even driving fast and it feels like you're going really fast. Which is like, I really love it because I'm not really a fast driver. But um, another thing I love about this car is just the looks. Like, you can't tell me this is one of the cleanest cars. Well, not mine. Obviously, mine needs some work, but... Definitely one of the cleanest cars, man. Like, I've seen, like, Priuses. How they try to pull off this look, and they just do not look good. They look, like, fat, ugly CRXs. I'm not trying to hate on Priuses, but... Like, Priuses are cool cars, but... They try to pull off this... You know, the look with the window in the back and everything. And even the new CRZs, I think, like, they just cannot pull off the CRX look. Or not the CRX look, but the, I think it's called, I forgot what the term they use to describe this kind of look of a car. But CRX has to be the best to pull off the look. Like the, uh, what is it? The, I think it's the Chevy Insights. Or no, the Volts. I can't remember. Oh no, inside it's the Hondas, I think. But the Chevy... Uh... Volt. Now those look pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. But they do look like a fat version of this. I'm not gonna lie. But CRX, I think, pulls off the best. I mean, yeah, it does look old. If you're not into old-looking cars, this does have an old look, especially in the front. But, um... And I think also with the trim on the side this i think just makes it look really dated too but i love the car i love the look of it i love the driving i love the feel um so yeah that's my reason number two um third reason i would say finding parts for this car now if you're gonna try to find like um now, some parts are really hard to find, not gonna lie. But mechanical-wise, like, you could almost find... You could find so many parts for, the, for this car, like... Um... I remember I replaced this axle. This side axle. I got it off of a... I believe it was like a 2003 Honda Civic. One of those generations over there. You see that one over there? It was one of those generations. D-Series was the last generation they did D-Series. And literally, I just put the axle on. It fit. Um, the only problem was I couldn't have the wheel bearing dust cover. Which a lot of people take those out anyways. But I do have to replace my wheel bearings. 
and yeah that's another thing also the starter in this car is from that generation as well um but that's just like a honda thing um but in terms of like buying uh i would say uh, what is it called like like looks like i think if you were trying to try to find a back bumper it would be really hard to find one or these lights the head the tail lights would be really hard if you were looking for a hatch window that would be really hard and would cost a lot of money interior parts for sure i know cost a lot you know like things like that i remember an oem one of these was like when uh one of my when i lost mine or they all broke um I believe it fell off. I had one and it fell off. It was the OEM. It was like $50 just for one side. Maybe even like $70. But what's cool is there's a big aftermarket. Big aftermarket support for this car. But if you were looking for OEM parts, you know, you're kind of screwed. Um, OEM parts for looks. I mean, you can find control arms for these cars online, aftermarket. Lowering springs, everything. This car isn't lowered or anything. Try to keep it stock look. Yeah, big aftermarket support. Uh, so I guess that's my third reason. Hmm, fourth reason? Uh, fourth reason, I would say. It's just basic. You know, like a lot of newer cars, they got all this bullshit. Not bullshit, but... Just like random crap in the car like this car is so basic i don't have to worry about the power windows going out i don't have to worry you know, like this is this is the climate control like it's so basic you know i have everything i need i got my clock bam and like the visibility is perfect this back window oh my gosh like, I hate backing up in any other car than this car. Because, like, I can literally see everything. Um, yeah, it's just very simple. I love this car so much. The interior is just beautiful, I think. The dash. When I come in here and I see it, I'm just like, wow. You know, it really brings me back. The smell of mold in the carpet. Everything about this car, I love it. Um, you know, it's just a very simple car. And if you do like all those gadgets, you know, I guess this car isn't for you, but if you're really looking for like a fun new car, if you're like tired of new cars where they just feel like they're driving a boat, you're like, you know, if you want something exciting, something that feels like you're in a race car, if you want to feel like you're in a go-kart, if you just want to have fun and feel like the coolest guy on the road, this car is for you. Oh, which brings me to my final reason why I love this car. The biggest reason is how rare it is. Now, online you could like see, there's like a bunch of people that have these cars online, but when you go out in this car, you're like the only person in it. I'm telling you, like, and that's one thing I don't like about driving in other cars. When you pull up to someone that has the same exact car as you, it's just like that awkwardness, you know. This car, you don't have to worry about that. But if you do pull up to someone, you know, you gotta hope that your car looks nicer, you know what I'm saying? No, it's funny. But, um, but I do, you know, this car is so rare. A lot of people loved it when they were younger. Like, people will come up to me. I remember I was at a, a light. I was at a red light. And the guy behind me got out of his car, walked up to me, and was like, Dude, I love your car. These cars are so hard to find, man. I was like, Wow, thank you. And, you know, I don't get that in other cars. I don't get that when I drive that car over there. I never got that when I drove that. Uh, this car is pretty rare, though. My dad's car. My dad's truck. Um... Yeah, that's what's really cool about this car. It's very rare. Hard to find. You know, when you pull up into somewhere, you know, some people, they won't care. They'll just see an old car. But people that do know or love Hondas, 
you know, like this is one of those respected cars that will always be respected. <laughs>